Imagine a computer, not the one on your desk, not even the one in your pocket. Imagine a computer so powerful, it makes today's machines look like abacuses. This isn't science fiction, it's a glimpse into the future. This is the promise of quantum computing, a technology that could change everything. Quantum computers are not just faster versions of our current computers, they are fundamentally different. They operate on principles that defy our everyday experiences. They harness the bizarre rules of quantum mechanics to solve problems that are impossible for even the most powerful supercomputers. Problems that would take traditional computers millennia to solve. This new kind of computing has the potential to revolutionize fields like medicine, material science, and artificial intelligence. Imagine designing new drugs in days instead of years. But to understand the power of quantum, we need to take a step back. We need to understand the basics of how our current computers work. Let's start with the basics of how computers work today. From the binary code that forms the foundation to the complex algorithms that drive our modern world. Our current computers, no matter how complex, rely on a simple language binary code. This binary system is the foundation of all modern computing, enabling everything from basic calculations to complex algorithms. This code consists of just two digits, 0 and 1. These two digits are the building blocks of all digital data, representing the most fundamental level of information. Think of a light switch. When you flip the switch, the light is either on or off. It's either on, 1, or off, 0. This simple concept is mirrored in binary code, where each bit is a switch that can be in one of two states. These zeros and ones, called bits, represent the flow of electricity. When combined in sequences, they can represent more complex data and instructions. They create the language that computers use to store information and run programs. Every image, video, and piece of text you see on a screen is ultimately broken down into these binary sequences. But this binary system has limitations. It can be slow and inefficient for certain types of complex calculations. It can only process information one step at a time. This sequential processing can be a bottleneck for tasks that require massive computational power. For complex problems, this step-by-step -step approach takes time. A lot of time. This is why researchers are exploring new computing paradigms. Quantum computers offer a completely different way of processing information. They have the potential to solve problems that are currently beyond the reach of classical computers. In the quantum realm, the rules of our everyday world no longer apply. Particles like electrons can be in multiple states at the same time. It's like a coin spinning in the air, both heads and tails at once, until it finally lands. This strange behavior is called superposition. It's one of the key principles that makes quantum computing so powerful. Instead of being limited to zero or one, a quantum bit or qubit can be both zero and one simultaneously. Imagine a coin spinning in the air. Until it lands, it's both heads and tails at the same time. This both at once state is superposition. Qubits, unlike ordinary bits, can exist in this state of superposition. This means a single qubit can perform multiple calculations at the same time. Add more qubits, and the possibilities explode exponentially. This incredible power allows quantum computers to tackle problems that would take classical computers billions of years to solve. It's like exploring a maze with the ability to try every path simultaneously. Imagine two coins flipping in perfect sync, even if separated by a vast distance. This connection is similar to entanglement, another bizarre quantum phenomenon. When two qubits become entangled, their fates are intertwined. Measuring the state of one instantly reveals the state of the other no matter how far apart they are. This spooky link allows quantum computers to perform calculations in parallel, further accelerating their speed and power. It's like having two computers working on the same problem, constantly sharing information instantaneously. Section 6. Interference Guiding Quantum Computations Imagine waves in a pond, some amplifying each other, others canceling each other out. This is interference. In quantum computers, interference guides the computation. By manipulating the interference patterns of entangled qubits, scientists can amplify desired outcomes and suppress unwanted ones. This process helps quantum computers find the right solution amongst a sea of possibilities. It's like having a compass that points directly to the correct answer in a vast labyrinth. Section 7. The Hurdles of Quantum Computing Quantum computing is still in its early stages, and while it holds immense promise, it also faces significant obstacles. 
Building and controlling these delicate machines is a monumental task. The complexity of quantum systems requires precision and stability that are difficult to achieve. One of the biggest challenges is decoherence, where qubits lose their quantum state due to environmental interference. Qubits are extremely sensitive to their environment. They can be affected by temperature fluctuations, electromagnetic waves, and even cosmic rays. Even the slightest disturbance can cause them to lose their quantum properties, leading to errors. This makes maintaining coherence a significant hurdle. It's like trying to build a computer out of soap bubbles. One wrong move, and it all falls apart. The fragility of qubits is a major concern. Scientists are working tirelessly to overcome these challenges, developing error correction techniques, and building more stable qubits. These efforts are crucial for the future of quantum computing. The race is on to build a fault-tolerant quantum computer. This would revolutionize technology, enabling computations that are currently impossible with classical computers. Section 8. A Quantum Future from Medicine to Materials Despite the challenges, the potential applications of quantum computing are staggering. In medicine, quantum simulations could lead to the discovery of new drugs and personalized treatments. In material science, quantum computers could help design materials with unprecedented properties, from super-efficient solar cells to lighter and stronger alloys. The possibilities are endless. Companies like IBM and Google are making significant strides in quantum computing, developing powerful processors and exploring real-world applications. Section 9, Quantum Leaps, a universe of possibilities. Quantum computing is not just about building faster computers. It's about unlocking a new era of scientific discovery and technological innovation. From revolutionizing drug development to tackling climate change, quantum computers have the potential to solve some of humanity's most pressing challenges. The future of quantum computing is bright, filled with the promise of a world transformed by the power of the quantum realm.